If you haven't already, make sure to go and check out last year's Auckland Plant Market vlog and you'll be able to see our exact setup from that market. And um, yeah, we're kind of growing a little bit bigger and better this time. For the last two years, we've had our 3 by 3 meter gazebo and the 3 by 3 meter gazebo has been great. However, end of last year, um, just after the Auckland Plant Market, we also went to Tauranga Market. And for that market, we were inside because we just took somebody else's spot. And then I thought, oh, we've got a problem because now we're so big and we have so many products and you know people obviously want all of the products there a 3x3 three three gazebo isn't gonna cut it anymore so we're gonna have to like not take half of our products and what's the point of going when you can't take all your products we made the executive decision to go out and buy uh, uh, oh my god <laughs> oh a three by six meter gazebo because <laughs> we just need the space now so we are going to open this bad boy up and check it out and see how it works and stuff obviously because you want to do that before the day so yeah let's crack into it i'm so excited <laughs> i'm dying oh. all right and this box is the walls and the roof so we're going to unpack that and attach it All right, so as you can see, the roof is on. You only actually have to put the roof on like the first time. Hopefully we should just be able to collapse it with the roof on. So all we have to do is sides if we want sides. So now we have to raise the legs up to the height we want it. So let's do that. All right, so now we have had it up for a little while. We've kind of seen how it goes in the wind. It's a little bit more like obviously wobblier than the last one. So we're gonna buy some weights for it and add those to it. But now we're just gonna put it down. We don't need to try the sides or anything because we know how they work already. So yeah, let's put it down. How exciting. So it is now a few weeks later after we did the gazebo and it is time to start some serious market prep. Today is the Friday the week before the market so the market is in a week and two days and I haven't done anything yet as always. Always leaving it to the last minute but it's just been so nuts. I am going to write my normal market list like I always do if you've watched my previous market videos you know my market list um, but before that I'm going to start doing some little preps such as packing items uh, ready to go on the stall because we're still figuring out some logistics so until we figure out those logistics I'm just gonna do some little things to help make like move progress along a little bit. The first chore I'm going to do specifically is pack the Grow Thickly poles. So we actually Actually individually wrap these because we find it's easier and nicer to just hand out an individually wrapped one and this is what they look like we just use a piece of our wrapping paper that we use for our orders wrap them up pop a sticker on it and obviously what it is on the front of it it's just so much easier and nicer handing these to people than having like this or a power for packet or you know so I'm going to be doing a few of these of each of the large ones and the normal sized ones I'm just gonna start by doing some of those of the thickly grow poles are done I have wrapped about 20 to 25 of each of them of the clear the frosted and the large ones and obviously there's taken a lot of our remaining stock so we can just hand them out if we sell out of those now that those thickly poles are done I am moving on to our small items and that is our soil pins and our butterfly clips now we pack them like this for the market and a little baggie in packs of 10 um, we do have different sizes on the website but it's just easier at the market to just have one size um, otherwise we would be checking people out forever <laughs> so we are going to be doing the little baggies like this um, for these red ones I actually already have quite a few done I think I just need to do a little bit of price adjusting on them um, and then I'm going to be popping them into some clear containers so let's get on to those now the next day which is Sunday which is exactly one week to the market we are figuring out some new tray um, layouts for the stall because we had some kind of like different containers and we want to make them as much the same as possible so I'll show you what we've been working on so you know how yesterday I was doing all the clips and stuff and I had the clear containers well these used to be in black containers 
uh, like these ones, but we want them all to be the same. So we are just figuring out how many of these we need and how many we need to go and buy. And this is all the packing we have done so far, which is three boxes, which is nowhere near enough. So we need to get our asses into gear today. All right, as I said, we are still fiddling stuff around because obviously we have a lot of new products and new variations of products and blah, blah, blah. Um, so we can do a lot of thinking around that. Um, I always start with my tabletop boxes, um, which are the boxes I take out of the van first, put on the top of my tables. Um, so I know that those boxes are empty and they can be like swapped into each other and, you know, condensed and moved away. Um, for example, these new growth technology little ones that we got in. We also have the, uh, the large ones. So I'm going to go through and see how many fit on our stands, price them up and put them in a box. So I know that everything in that box can just go on the table and then the other stock can go underneath. So let's do it. Okay, so it is almost the end of the day on Sunday and I have done some substrates. I've done all of our little accessories. I've done the um, the liquids, the fertilizers, etc. And there's another box of liquids there, which means tabletop is almost done. All I have to do is the actual substrates and oh, our plant supports and pots so in terms of pots i always pack boxes just like the other stuff of the amount of pots that we need to go on the table and then the rest can just go in big boxes in the van so i do that by doing a quick little mock-up on the table behind me because these are the tables we actually take to the market so i'll just pop them there and then obviously see how many we need to pack and whatever's on the table i'll pack into boxes so time to do that and this time i'm probably going to write it down somewhere because i do this every single time because i forget um and if i just write it down somewhere i'll just know for next time can see behind me I have all of the pots done counted and now I've just got to pack this into a box or probably a few boxes um, we are not taking any hanging pots to the Auckland market because we don't have any um, but yeah now I'm just gonna put them into boxes It is now the Thursday before the market. In the last clip you saw my husband, he was uh, packing away all of our substrates. We actually still had a lot pre-packaged from the last market, so we're going to take those, which is a big time saver. Um, if you didn't know or if you haven't seen in the news, if you are from overseas, this week New Zealand has had a cyclone, Cyclone Gabrielle, uh, which has caused complete chaos around the country. Um, and we were, <laughs> I know this is not a big problem, but we were going on family holiday this week and we cancelled that because all the roads were closed and obviously people's houses have been like inundated and you know there's bigger problems in the world than our holiday so we cancelled that and we're going to move that until two weeks after the Hamilton market um which means I have more time to prepare for the market so yesterday I actually went out we went to Hamilton for the day and I went to Kmart and I got some more tubs for the top of the market store so like I said we are using these clear plastic containers um, they are fantastic and I bought a whole bunch more of them just because we have so many products now and I want everything to look all the same so that's that done and that also means that we can now pack those tabletop items put them in boxes so I'm gonna be doing that today I also got five more boxes of the growth technology stuff in. I got a full box each of the foliage focus, complete focus, flower focus, uh, and then just a top up of CCS and I think it was foliage focus again, um, just to have enough for the market. And as you see, I've already dipped into it for orders. And we also got something else extremely exciting in yesterday. We got another 2000 business cards in, but that's not the exciting part. I got a few other things in as well that are brand new and I'm so excited to use them. They look so freaking good. Let me go grab them. So I've had to move outside for this one. Wait for it. Ta-da! Growing green car stickers! I'm so freaking excited for these. So we're going to be able to pop these on the rental van when we go to markets now so people know whose van that is. It's the growing green van. <laughs> and obviously we're going to pop them on our cars as well. So it's a little bit of free advertising as we drive around. Yay! And then again, that's not even the most exciting thing we got. We got ourselves a banner. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's amazing. I designed it myself and this is going to be 
so awesome on the stall. It is an inside only banner, but if it's like a really nice calm day like today, it'll be fine outside. Ooh, ah, yes, that's me. Okay, right as I was filming that, we got some more deliveries. We got some clarinet pots. <laughs> wow, that's not even gonna go in the seconds. Nope, Clearance. Nope. That's just stuffed. And then we got some more deliveries as well. We got some more Oxygen Plus and Misters. And these should be the gazebo weights. So let's open those up. So yes, as expected, they are the gazebo weights. You fill them with sand or whatever heavy stuff you want to fill them with. And then you wrap them around the legs of the gazebo. So we've got four of those. So one for each end of the gazebo. Because it's bigger, so we don't want it flying away. Do we? No. <laughs> We're just counting all the pots and making sure they're all obviously in one piece. Because as you saw, some of them are not in one piece. All right, and we got another delivery. This is another order. Let's open her up. Ha ha! Yes. <gasps> I got so confused with this order. Why? It's Gravinta, right? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> The label is upside down, so I pulled it out and I was like, what the hell? The rest look fine. I think the rest what, is just fine. that one? No, no, there's two. And the other ah. side? The other side of it. Oh, the other side's the right way up. <laughs> it's upside down again. <laughs> oh, that one's all right. Okay, so that's three out of four. <laughs> Another one. Oh, why does this always happen to me? It is the Saturday before the market. The market is tomorrow and we are all done packing wise. I will show you what I've done today um, and then I'm gonna get on to stamping some more bags. So first thing this morning I did was I went through all of the plants and I labeled all of them so we have all of them in buckets right here to go. We've got three buckets full, which is, I think, just enough for the market. Um, plants aren't really my main seller anyway, and plants are so saturated at this point that only a few are necessary, so that is all done. This wasn't actually today, this was yesterday, but we went through and boxed up, obviously, the rest of the substrates, poles, pots, kiwi char, and some spag moss down the back, and some grow lights and other stuff here, and on the shelves we went through and marked all of the boxes that we we're going to be taking in the van. I then packed my admin box. My admin box has the uh, fold-out trays in the top, the, um, what do you call them? Tablecloths. I did the pricing list, because that always changes. So I did our price lists, got the labeler in there, and there are some price labels in the bottom. And then I have been making some new, um, what are they called, price labels, on these ones here that actually clip in and are really easy to use. So, like I said, my last mission before we go pick up the van and pack it is to stamp some more bags. These ones here, bags for customers. Um, we always obviously give these out if they order a few items. A lot of people will already have their own bags, which is nice. But we like to have a, um, a full box of bags, <laughs> just in case. There's also one less thing I have to do for the Hamilton Market next week. There will probably be enough bags for both. So, yeah, I'm going to get onto that now, and then we're going to go pick up the van. The only thing I'm guilty of is having awesome products and plants at affordable prices. Yes. Done. Done. We're in, as always. It only took an hour and a half. 
Okay. Other than that, we're done. Yeah. Hey! So it is like 10 o'clock at night, so it's actually not that late. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. We will see you when we get up in the morning. Let's do it. Well done. Let's smash this market. See you in the morning. <laughs> Day. I don't know if you can tell by my face. I'm a little bit less red now, but that was the warmest market day we have done in a very, very long time and the busiest. We were non-stop for six hours straight and we've been up since 4.30 this morning. I hope we got some decent like panorama shots of the stall again. That was all I could manage. <laughs> I really do try to get more, but we're just so intensely busy it hurts. So we're just going to drive home now. We're just getting some petrol and some cold drinks because we haven't drunk much all day either. We're going to have the meanest headaches tomorrow um, and then yeah I'll chat more when we get home. So it is now five days later from when I actually lasted uh, anything for this video and I just wanted to let you know how the Auckland market went. Obviously as you could see from the last clips we were absolutely so so stoked with the setup of our stall our new three by six meter stall it was really really awesome we managed to fit everything on the tables everything looked really nice and then nine o'clock hit when everyone like came to the market and we got smashed like smashed hardcore the entire six hours no breaks i mean i sat down for like i think five minutes <laughs> um, we didn't get any time to eat any lunch or sit down or anything like that <sighs> Oh my god, it was the best market we have ever, ever had. And I am so, so grateful for all of you guys. I'm sorry if I was hot, sweaty, uh, running around like a maniac, if I didn't answer your questions fully because there's just so many people pulling me in different directions. I just, honestly, I can't even begin to explain what an awesome event that was. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to going back again in October. Um, it was nice to see fellow vendors as well and have a chat with some of you guys. Um, again, me and mum ran around, I think once really, really, really quickly. <laughs> so we didn't leave poor my husband on the store by himself for too long because there was just no way that the store could be run with any less than two of us or even three of us. We could have done with a fourth person. And I want to show you something that like proves kind of how hot it was. So as you saw on the one clip that I got at the store, like I said, I always try and get more footage for you than just a uh, panorama shot of the stall but we just couldn't we had no time and to be completely honest if I've got time to run around and make really nice videos of my stall then I'm probably not doing as well as I think I'm doing I should probably get back to work and work a little bit harder it was so hot on the stall as you can see from those images we had all of the accessories lined up down that open side I don't know if you can see that but our thermometers melted because it was so freaking hot look at that as you can see they are just look <laughs> the funny thing is they still work 
So I'm gonna pop them up on our seconds page after we come back from Hamilton um, and just put them up for like real, real dirt cheap in case someone wants it. They're still fine, they just look a little bit manky. And it was great seeing you guys, like people running up to me going, oh my God, I'm a fan and like I watch your YouTube channel. That was so, so nice. And I'm sorry if I didn't get to meet as many of you as I wanted to because we were busy. Um, but yeah, it was just, as always, we got smashed. So <laughs> absolutely loved it. But now it is time for the Hamilton market. It's actually tomorrow. So it was on last Sunday, and now the Hamilton market is on tomorrow, which is Saturday. And we have already repacked. Um, I didn't film any of that because I thought like, well, I was gonna make a second video, but it's kind of the same thing as the Auckland plant market, so you probably don't wanna see it twice. Um, so I'm just adding the videos in together, um, but I will show you what we have done, and we're gonna go pick up the van this afternoon again, and pack the van again, but I am doing plants right now, and I just wanna show you something we got in today, which is really freaking cool. Oh! That's thunder! Oh my god! So like I've said in this video and I think past videos as well, we got our own personalized plant labels in and these are freaking sick. Look at that! They're so cool! So they've obviously got our name on it and our website down the bottom and we got a lot of them. I'm so, so excited to have these. Every time we do a market we always try and make little improvements and here and there and this is definitely one of those improvements. So we got these, we got some green sticker dots to put the price on them so people can easily find the price of the plants. So here we have our two boxes of plants ready to go. We have some Melanochrysum, some Philodendron Splendid, some Carnosa, some Anthurium Silver Blush and a whole bunch of other Hoya and some pothos and some more anthurium in there as well so those are good to go oh that doesn't sound good <laughs> alrighty so we are packed again and ready to go to Hamilton um, every time we pack you can see it get a little bit better and a little bit more organized which is exactly what we want so we will see you in the morning setting up <laughs> It is now the day after Hamilton and wow again just wow what a fantastic day and a fantastic event we were at a place called the barn in Claudelands and as you can see it was just basically a big barn and it was such a great venue if you've watched my previous Hamilton plant lovers market videos you will know that it used to be like an old school hall and now they've upgraded to this and it was just so fantastic I'm so looking forward to going back again like the Auckland plant market it was really nice and steadily busy we did so well again hardly any time to like have a break um, apart from at the end we had a little bit of time to you know go and get some food and stuff like that it was nice again seeing different vendors and the same vendors again and you know just seeing how everybody went and it was such a great time meeting some more of you guys um from down south region um, it was really really awesome as well to say hi to you guys and put more names to faces as always um, yeah, it was just such a fantastic event. So I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button so I know you like this kind of content. And also consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break now at the end of the month just because it was such a crazy month with both markets on. Um, and then we will be back again very soon with some more video content for you guys. So thank you, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!